Hello, everybody. We are both music facilitators here at Musical Intervention, and you're going to get a deep dive look into the artists that we've been working with. And uh, yeah, you have any words, uh, Kevin, about the, the people and musicians? The peoples. These are talented musicians. I've been coming here for the last, at least in recent memory, even for the last seven years. These are talented folks and great creative minds and they help this place thrive in many capacities than you think. So I'm looking forward to hearing the stories and what motivates, what inspires them. Hi, my name is Mike Rodriguez and I'm here being interviewed by Adam Christofferson and Joey Gates. They can ask the questions. Learning Adam's songs, that was the fun part. It took me 15 minutes to learn eight songs. Coming to Musical Intervention for on and off seven years since it opened, I met Adam in a coffee shop. He was playing, I liked his, what he was doing, I liked his voice, his style, his body shape. Just his persona, just he has a stage presence. And uh, he showed me stage presence because I was type of the type of person that would play guitar and face the drummer. Everybody would look, be looking at my ass. He told me about this place and stuff like that. He told me it was a sober space. And you know, when I did see him, I was buzzing a little. You know, I do have an addiction problem. Uh, I'm struggling. But coming here actually sobers you up. You know, if you keep your mind straight. And I'm trying to get my mind straight. Uh, meeting the guys, Joey, Kevin, uh, Adam especially. Then we got the AS. You know, we have a big crowd here that comes here and so many talented people. I, I've been playing a long time and I'm still learning. You know, I started at four, I'm 59, I'll be 60 in November. And I only want one cake, one, one candle on my cake. And I want it to be a big giant guitar. My experiences here have always been awesome. You know, when I go home after open mic night, I'm wired out, I can't sleep. Cause I got so many things in my mind. You know, I made up a song about, you know, a parole board statement. The guy says, pack your bags. Guy went and wrote the song to it. And, I made the music to it. Everybody seems to like it. I recorded a CD here, which is very, I see there's a lot of views. There's a lot of musical intervention I'm taking with me. You know, I, I plan on leaving the state and I'm taking this place with me, you know, like it or not. You know, I'm, I'm grounded with music. You know, um, my thought process changed since I've been coming here. My heart changed a lot. You know, when you walk in these doors, you know, you could leave all your animosities and your attitudes outside and you come in here, it's a whole new world. And I had that world for the last seven years that I've been coming here. And we went to two different places and, you know, it was always a success to be here. And, you know, I'm gonna really miss here, but I'm not. You know, we have videos, we have cameras, we have phones. I'm always gonna be in charge of my own life. These guys have been my family. <clears throat> we learn a lot from each other, even though some of them are younger than me, with less experience in, in thoughts. But when you really come down to it, when you put all our thought processes together, we're one big happy family. No. No. Except, <laughs> except for Adam flirting with me all the time. And, and mind you... No, that's Mikey Fresh. He's the one who takes everybody outside. I think if he has money in his pocket, it'll take you to the Omni. Rocky moments here, no. I can't really say. I was, yeah, I did. Actually, you know what? Correct it, Joe. Yelling letters at me. Uh, yeah, that used to piss me off. When we're playing a song, they'd be yelling A, E, I, you know, O, U. All right, so we know the vowels. Um, I don't read music, I don't write it. I just play it. And, you know, and they stopped. And then we have a very surprising visitor here, which was the governor of our beautiful state of Connecticut, who decided he wanted to play a blues song in E. And so Joey politely told him, don't do that. He yells at people for that. But we went on. The show went on. And Governor Lamont, if you're watching this, lower taxes and come down and play another song with me. I would say from the beginning, start meetings, start getting a network because in, in meetings, there's a lot of talent in meetings too. There's, there's people who draw, there's people who sing, there's people who play guitar, bass, drums, violin, even the xylophone. And you get to places like this 
where it's a sober space. It's almost like coming to a meeting, but you got an instrument in your hand. You know, never put the guitar down, never put the music down. Keep it in your heart, keep it in your spirit, because a lot of times when I'm feeling down, I pick up the guitar and I feel better. Or you could stop down at 23 Temple Street. And you know what? Somebody's walking in the door, somebody's standing on the other side with a smile on their face with the same problem. And you know what? Two problems together is a solution. It's like the two guys that invented AA, Dr. Bill and Dr. Bob. Two guys had the same problem. Now look, it's worldwide. Musical intervention, one of these days, is gonna be worldwide. I don't know about the other countries. You know, people ask me if I was in the, in the service, the armed services, the armed forces, or the any, any kind of uh, army. And I told them, yeah, the Salvation Army. I wasn't so far behind enemy lines, I was in the other country. It was, you know, but when you come here and you, you, you feel the sense of, you know, being down, down and out, you're feeling lonely, you're feeling depressed, anxiety. This place is full of comedy. And we do, we joke on stage, we, we, we mimic each other, we mock each other, and it's all out of fun and love. But musical intervention is the place for me, and it's a place for everybody. You just come down and check it out. You'll be addicted, and it won't be to alcohol or drugs. You'll be addicted to this place.